They look like they come from your worst nightmares. There's no evidence they exist, but all the scary stories about them still sometimes sound so real. Passed down from generation to generation, which one is your favorite? The first creature that probably comes to your mind is Bigfoot. A giant creature that reminds you of an ape and allegedly leaves extremely large footprints and other traces that make people in the area of the Pacific Northwest wonder if it's really there. It's so popular, other similar beasts got their own legends too. Like the Mogollon Monster, something people also call the Arizona Bigfoot. Reported along the Mogollon Rim, this mysterious creature is 7 feet tall and has big red eyes. Stories say its body is covered with long reddish-brown or black hair, besides its face, chest, feet, and hands. It mimics coyotes, birds, and other wildlife, emitting strange whistle sounds at the same time. The creature tends to explore campsites when it gets dark. It builds nests out of twigs, pine needles, and leaves. And if you're in that area and someone is throwing stones from locations you can't see, yep, Mogion Monster. This creature is omnivorous, which means it eats both plants and animals. And it prefers to wander at night, lurking for innocent prey lost in the woods. Urayuli, a 10-foot mythical creature people say hides in the southwestern woodland parts of Alaska. It's a hulking giant beast known for its extremely long limbs. Legends say their lanky arms are so long they reach their ankles. The creature is covered in a thick coat of hair. The only thing you can see on its face not covered in the hair is the creature's eerily luminescent eyes. The legend says Urayuli use their glowing eyes to hypnotize their prey. But not us, since stories say they prefer to catch deer. And they're known to be kind towards humans. And some claim the Urayuli are actually just a type of Bigfoot. Wendigo. This terrifying creature is said to be hiding across the northern forests of Canada and the United States, always looking if there's some lost wanderer. The story says the Wendigo used to be a lost hunter. The freezing winters transformed him into a fierce 15-foot-tall beast with desiccated skin tightly pulled over its large, pointy bones. Stories about this creature showed up in the 20th century, and people say the beast still roams around the forest in long, cold winters, constantly looking for lost people he can grab from the darkness. Lake Worth Monster. This scary creature that's part man, part goat, is also called the Island Monster. This seven-foot-tall monster is so strong, it could hurl car tires like they were just plastic toys. In a worse nightmare scenario, it could appear in the darkness, sailing from the treetops and fiercely landing with full force on the hood of passing cars. That's how the first people who reported its existence described it. Lake Worth is located west of Dallas and east of Fort Worth. There's a landmass in the middle of this mystical lake known as Greer Island. The legend says that's where this scary monster, also known as Fort Worth's answer to Bigfoot, roams. And that's where some skeptics and thrill seekers still go, wandering around and trying to discover if the legend is true. Lurking in the darkness with its scary red eyes, meet the Mothman, a humanoid beast reportedly seen in the 1960s in Point Pleasant in West Virginia. On one cold night in November of 1966, two young couples reported to the police that they saw a big gray creature with glowing red eyes. It looked like a flying man with wings around 10 feet wide. During the next couple of days, more and more people said they saw the same thing. Later. A wildlife biologist from West Virginia University told reporters that these descriptions fit the Sandhill Crane. It's a big American crane almost as tall as a human being. It has a 7-foot wingspan and circles of red around its eyes. The gigantic bird may have got out of its migration route and started these stories. Or did it really? Fresno Nightcrawlers They're not that tall, considering they're monsters about five feet. The upper part of their body is pretty small, so most of their height is their legs. These creatures have allegedly made two appearances so far. Once, 
people saw them in Fresno, California. In contrast, the other time was in Yosemite National Park in California. Both times they were in videos of poor quality, so it wasn't easy to find details of their upper body. But the creature is considered thin and white with no arms. At least, we can't see them. It also has pretty short and stilt-like feet. Have you heard of the Slide Rock Bolter? It's said to be hiding somewhere in the mountains of Colorado. To be precise, in Lizard Head Mountain, only a stone's throw southwest from Telluride. It's some sort of leviathan that lives on the land. This mountain whale carefully observes its surroundings with beady eyes while chilling atop Lizard Head. It hangs from the peak while its split, clawed tail faces its body downward. If anything steps into its territory, the beast lifts its malign fluke immediately and bolts down the mountainside, with its jaw full of razor-sharp teeth wide open. It gobbles whatever or whoever is in front of it, including miners, lost tourists, and loggers. It sweeps through trees and destroys all natural life that's been in its path for more than 100 years. Or at least that's what the legend says. Wow, that's the scariest one for me so far. Ultima Haha. Somewhere in southeastern Georgia, close to the mouth of the Ultima Ha River, there's a hissing sea monster hiding. It's one of the biggest rivers in Georgia that empties into the Atlantic Ocean, and the entire area that surrounds the river is full of small islands, canals, dikes, ponds, acres of marshes, and old rice fields. Perfect for such a monster to hide, don't you think? The story says this unusual cryptid has a sturgeon-like body, including a bony ridge on its top. Due to its front flippers, the creature swims like a dolphin. His snout reminds me of a crocodile. His teeth are large and sharp, whereas his eyes are big and protruding. The beast is green or gray with a white yellowish underbelly and is up to 30 feet long. There's no physical evidence the Ultima Haha really lives there. But the legends date back centuries when people started talking about an enormous snake-like beast that hissed and bellowed. Loch Ness Monster, or how many like to call it, Nessie. This myth dates back from old times all the way to a group of people that lived in ancient Scotland known as the Picts. The legend started to grow in the 1930s. Back then, a road near Loch Ness was finished, offering a nice view of the lake without bigger obstacles. And in April of 1933, a couple noticed there was a large animal. They compared it to a prehistoric monster or dragon. Most people imagine it as a pleosaur, which is basically a marine dinosaur. The beast quickly crossed the couple's car's path and then disappeared below the water's surface. Later that year, some researchers even found big footprints. They believed they were from a pretty soft-footed solid creature around 20 feet long. Later, some determined the tracks were the same as the ones that a hippopotamus leaves. Plus, scientists said the lake wasn't that nutrient-rich for such a large predator. There are not enough animals to support such a beast at the top of the food chain. But the legend about a giant mythological creature has moved on and still makes people across the world wonder if there's really something hiding deep down in the dark, murky waters of Loch Ness. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.